Consider the risk with each step. Andrew Kaminsky's job isn't for the faint of heart. I wish there were some bigger trees here, actually. He cuts down dead branches and trees for a living. We'll dispose of them at a few different sites that we dump at. There it goes. But not every piece of the tree becomes trash. Most people don't have the access to this much woods. I didn't have any indoor healthy hobbies. I just had a bunch of like video games and TV and that kind of stuff that just felt like I was rotting my mind away. I'm gonna take two more cuts off of that. Yeah, my room is just insane right now. Like I have, I haven't counted, but I bet I have like 70 or 80 of these. It's ridiculous. Every day, Andrew takes a few slices home. Max, we have a visitor. This is where he and Max. Max, have you ever been on TV? Consider another risk. My main inspiration right here. The risk that someone might laugh. Max, you're distracting me. I mean, here I am melting crayons onto a piece of wood. Like, it's the most ridiculous thing in the world. You know, you think about this being like a, a craft for kindergartners, you know, and it could be. But Andrew found passion after his paycheck and pushed past the fear to pursue it. You know, you're afraid of judgment. You're afraid that people are going to reject your work and then it'll make you not want to do it anymore. But I got to the place where holding it all in and keeping it to myself was more painful than any rejection would ever be, than any judgment would ever be. The notes on his mirror remind him to stay in that place. I am whole. I am a forever learner. I will be a successful artist. So Kaminsky's creations keep coming. He's made more than 100. And if I was gone tomorrow, I would have no regrets because Max and his cat here. Because yeah, I'm finally giving all of myself at the end of every day, or most days, I should say. Not a bad reward for a risk Andrew found in the trees. In Denver, Katie Eastman, Nine News.